The scheme consists of five accommodation blocks within an existing university campus and the value is approximately £13.3 million. Wilmot Dixon do a number of different types of scheme but student accommodation is, is one of the big markets that we're in. The scheme started in uh, July last year 2010. It's 281 bedrooms um, consisting primarily of standard rooms in clusters of five with a communal kitchen. There are then some larger rooms which are the premier rooms which is basically a larger room still in the same clusters of five and then there are some studio bedrooms, 21 studio bedrooms with separate bedroom and kitchen area. In the last few years um, we've been oversubscribed every year by about 300 to 400 students and there's been a need for extra housing. This is an area where we can also have conferences, we have a large amount of um, English language teaching during the summer where we have cohorts of probably 700 students that come for six weeks at a time to learn English. Students' expectations, obviously because of fees etc that have been going up steadily over the years, their expectation for housing is greater than it was say 10 years ago. When choosing between different types of accommodation, I, I don't have a problem sort of looking at the higher end, so I do want to like have good accommodation, even if it's not a factor in choosing the university itself. Accommodation must have the higher quality and uh, uh, must be quiet. Ensuite, because I like my uh, my privacy. Ensuite, definitely, so be able to not have to share a shower. The double size bed. A few rooms with a shared kitchen or shared living area. Have a nice kitchen to work in because I mean some of the kitchens here are very very old. Well, a common room might be quite nice. So obviously, people want nice accommodation. They want to live in little communities. So we generally put five bedrooms together with a kitchen so that they can you know, get to know people. We don't build things with long corridors, sort of hotel style. En suite is very popular. Um, also, we have a lot of postgraduate students that sometimes like to live in things like studios. So we tend to do a mixture of sort of en suite bedrooms, standard, larger size bedrooms and studio apartments that we can either sell to visiting lecturers or to um, postgraduates. Um, quality, we always strive to get something sort of, I suppose, sort of three star um, accommodation. Um, people are paying a lot more for their accommodation now and do expect the quality to be higher. The three key client requirements is first of all programme and finishing on the due date. Uh, students are already booked to move in here for the new term in September and we must be finished for them to be able to move in. Quality is, is, is key, as well as students using the scheme, the, the flats are in use 12 months of the year with summer school, with external conferences, with businessmen, with visitors, so it's not just about students, it's about the university's offer and being able to let these rooms 12 months of the year. And then the third issue is liaison with the client. We are all, we're working in a very tight, confined area and sharing access roads, so it's a lot of communication to, to be carried out with the client. Well, one of the constraints is the fact that there isn't any space for storage. It's a very, very tight site. Um, we've also got archiving in the building at the end of the plot, and that has to have constant um, access. So it's been quite a challenge for ourselves and for Wilmot Dixon to be able to get those sort of things sorted out and we have had 700 students on site um, all of the time when the building's been going on and we've had relatively little complaints about noise etc. There have been a few but considering the amount of work that's been going on it's gone really well actually. The working relationship with the client I believe is excellent. We have regular client meetings once a month with the project implementation team. We have construction progress meetings monthly with the whole of the client's team but I liaise with the client's project manager on a weekly basis regarding issues on site, decisions that need to be made, all the sort of run-of-the-mill type items that you need to keep the university involved with and informed of. Well, Wilmot Dixon are quite exceptional in that. The keeper's informed and the notifiers a couple of days prior to if there's any inspections or anything what's going on, which really helps us a lot because at any one time we've got a vast amount of work on. Um, they, they, they let us see everything, they keep um, the health and safety up on the board and everything, we get to see everything, they don't hide anything from us. Yeah, very, very, very good. Um, and also the fact that Wilmot Dixon came to us with a different frame structure which was a lightweight steel um, fabrication instead of concrete. Having had a really bad winter, we'd be at least two months behind now, so that was something that has worked really in our favour.
So we will hit the end date and we will have the students in here come October the 3rd. Yeah.